what I'm doing is, is I'm using a leather strop. Um, a lot of carvers use them and a lot of carvers use a lot of other things. And so I made these a long time ago and so this, this is one way to help keep an edge on the, on the, the blade. So this wood is very dry. And when it gets real dry like like this, it's, um, it's harder to carve. So and then I could put water on it. You know, I mentioned that on another video, and then and that that would be all right. But instead, I'm gonna do it this way. Um, so not only am I kind of like cleaning it up. I'm also um, um, lightening it up, but too, making it a little bit lighter. Because if I had to guess, I'm thinking this is probably about 90 pounds. And it's a lot of weight to be hanging on the wall, huh, Ivy? Yeah. <laughs> She's going, but it'll fit on our wall. It'll fit on our wall, yeah. that's right. So, anyways. This is the back side of the octopus face. So the tentacles obviously and then just cleaning that all these things up. Are you gonna put eyes in that one too? On this one? <laughs> no. On the back side? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be your signature. <laughs> yeah. Oh I do this too. As it goes in my eyeball. Ah, As it goes your way. No. <laughs> yeah. well, I use the blower sometimes. You know, yeah. Long, but, but anyway, Look at all these chips. Yeah. So it, this is a slower way. I mean, there, there's there's gouges and electric things that you can get to go, you know. I mean, those are out there. And, uh, to but, smooth it out? Uh, just to remove the wood. Oh, okay. And, uh, and cleaning it up and stuff it. So it builds your muscles. This way here is a uh, slower, but that's all right, you know. Look at those muscles, though. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Are you gonna paint the backside at all, or just leave no, it? No, I'll just I'll just leave it. That's why. That's why I kind of want to just kind of get a. It has a, like its own sheen in a sense, but yeah. But it's um, you know, um. How how do you know how far to go down? Well, I use my eyeballs. I come over here and I look at it. Oh, okay. And then, well, that's a great question. Yeah. So, oh yeah, your new new uh, tool. Yeah. It was so, made for you, huh? Yeah. So I can go like this. Go like that. Yeah. And then over here on this end? Yeah, yeah. See, on the, the other end. Oh, yes, okay. See that? Yeah. So what this is, is it's going by the, the distance between these oh. two points here. So that tells you how thick it is. Really? Cool. Yeah. So the same thing goes for like, if you look down in here. Yeah. Like there's a area right in here uh -huh. that I might want to look at doing it. Yeah. Now look at how much room is over here. Oh, cool. So, so that way I can. Can you uh, lock it in to to know how thick it is, or no, you just kind of No, I, I just take it? a look at it and go, oh, I got two and a half inches, oh, okay. maybe, or whatever it is. But that that way I know if I'm getting too. Who made that tool for you? Um, Leif over in uh, Whidbey Island. Cool. Yeah, so he's a tool maker. Yeah. And this one I made, remember? Oh yeah, with the... Uh, Went over and learned how to make Steve these, Brown, huh? Steve Brown and how he does it, and then then I put it in the handle and... Oh yeah, I remember you working and I was going to have fun. That's right. <laughs> we're on, you were on vacation? I was, I was on vacation. I was in a workshop. Uh, I got to ride on a boat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's cool. Sailboat. Who's loose?
It'd be nice now though, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Of course, that same boat's probably busier than heck right now. Yeah. Well, it was free, so um, they do it every year. Uh huh. So probably not free now. Right. I, I got there at the right time. I didn't know they were doing it, and voila. Yeah. Wish you were there. You oh, know. I know, right? Yeah. But I'm glad you got to be with Steve Brown and make your tools. Yeah. That's your passion, your love, and I'm his second love. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first I'm love. <laughs> <laughs> So why are we doing this right here, Avi? Why are you uh, sweeping? No, this. Oh, uh, what do you mean, uh, carving that? Yeah. Why am I? Why? Why are we? Uh, to hang it up. Is it going to help hang it up? Yeah, we're gonna. This this way it kind of um, cleans it up, obviously, and then um, um, get it ready for uh, be able to rig it and hang it on the wall. And yeah. Then what comes after that? Um, take pictures and then. We are selling it. That's right. So get ready. Sure. Who wants to buy it? <laughs> we will sell it to you. I need a new washer and dryer, you know, you guys. Come yeah. on. Somebody will go, yeah, I'll buy you a new washer and dryer. Yeah. Nah, it ain't going to work that way. You know? yeah. 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 No. So this is a totem pole size face here. Um, it is huge. So if you take a look at this face on here, yeah, I'll go look at the faces on uh, on that on the totem pole. Yeah, it's bigger than this one here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one's four feet tall. That's four feet tall back there, the octopus mask. How tall is this mask here? That's three feet long. Three feet long. Okay, so imagine how big it is. Yeah. From the bottom of the back side to the top of the center of the totem pole, that's 19 inches deep. Let's say that again because I get you closer. On the totem pole. Yeah, yes. Yeah. From the back side like this uh -huh. to the very front side down underneath, yeah. you know, but flip it around. Yes. It's 19 inches deep. Oh, okay. Well, this is 19 inches deep too. Oh, okay. Whoa. That's 36 inches wide at at the base there and this is 30 inches oh okay so the totem pole is six inches wider than this oh okay but still 30 inches wide 19 inches oh deep, yeah same like that and then four foot tall it's a big mask it is no doubt about it i didn't just carve it overnight that's for sure nope he, he was out here in the cold of what how, what was the degree it was like 19 degrees 19 out. degrees out he was I'm out here working, working on, on the pole, pole and working on the octopus mask yeah. and i can't wait until you start this one here Woohoo! yeah and then the other one over in the corner yep the other totem pole. we need 10 strong men to come and help move the other blank totem pole and yeah. we'll have a lunch a lunch for everybody okay <laughs> so raise your hand let Fred know who would love to come here to have lunch and move. Uh, how big is that uh, blank pole? Oh, it's only like 11 feet long. 11 feet long. How heavy so you think? It may not take that many, but I But we'll feed you anyway still. I, I can't uh, do it myself. I know that. Nope. He's got to really I'm... work his muscles to do move it himself. And <laughs> you, you got to work smarter, not harder. That's right. If He's an do, old man. But if I was doing to do that, I'm I, like I'm not working. I'm working harder here because yeah. I'm just. But there, there's a method to the madness, you know. We we need some strong young men. Well, not just young, just anybody. That's strong, strong. and Bodies. women too. Come, women too. I'm I'm pretty strong, so I'm gonna help. Well, then we'll just put it on your back. Oh yeah, you're yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Have a great day. Have a great day.